we are doing another neighborhood video and this time we are in Mule. we are back in seoul and i'm going to tell you more about Mule in a second this video is also sponsored by squarespace which is where i host my website so anything that we go to today um will be on carrycakes.net uh so thank you squarespace i'll talk about them more as well um but yeah first things first we've got to find food and then we can talk about Mule because literally i can't focus on anything other than food <laughs> lunches I have had in recent memory <laughs> like that was so delicious oh my god like there are a lot of places in Korea and the world that exist I'm so sorry for the construction this is like I've got to tell you about the neighborhood but it's a noisy place there are lots of places around the world that like are just around for aesthetic so I wasn't sure about this place so if you go I would either make a reservation or show up put your name on the list and then go to a cafe and then come back kind of thing um but what is this neighborhood let me get away from some of this noise mule is a really interesting neighborhood it's right across the river pretty much from hongde hapjong area um oh my god give me a sec and it actually used to be a lot of factories and it still kind of is as you can see it was a lot of steel and then with the financial crisis in the 90s it all just kind of disappeared and so it was replaced with a lot of art and stuff so there's a lot of like leather workers and jewelry makers and stuff like that but there's still a lot of factories so it's this really interesting mix of factory and now like these new establishments like these restaurants and these cafes um, I have heard, but it's not super confirmed, I have heard that a lot of the factory owners actually own their buildings, which is really good. So yes, this neighborhood is being gentrified, but do the bu building owners have some control? Maybe, I don't know, I'll have to research that more. But it's a very noisy place, it's all people like welding shit and stuff so i'm gonna go get a coffee um and sit in some quiet but yeah i apologize if you can't even hear me um but we're gonna tour the neighborhood shall we next up we're getting peanut bread <laughs> Talk, you're always playing board games. 
wish I had monopoly over your mind. I wish I didn't care all the time. We're just playing hide and seek. It's getting hard to breathe under the sheets with you. I don't wanna play no games. I'm tired of always chasing, chasing after you. So I saw that this has like a rooftop and it's kind of a place that has um, different studio space for artists but I'm here and it's giving off major like abandoned building vibes. I'm just not sure if I'm allowed to be in here. <laughs> Yeah, extremely unclear about whether or not, ooh, that cat. <sighs> Very unclear whether I'm supposed to be up here or not. <clears throat> Seems like it's maybe closed today, I don't know. But it's just got like questionable seating and a garden. It's like a community space, but anyway, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> but it's cool, I mean, if you can just pop up here, maybe if it's open, I'll do some more research, but. Um, there's a cat up here and uh, Yeah, now let's go to a shop another cafe. It's gorgeous out the air quality is really bad But the temperature is really nice. Let me just show you from above like it's all very flat here and just all factories so show you like a mural village but what i didn't know is there's actually this one road that is just a bunch of different little galleries and there's like a pub restaurant called galley ga, ga, galley gallery moulet or moulet gallery um but yeah this entire street is just every single little place is a gallery i don't know why i'm falling over myself um but yeah how cool the things you find when you just walk around Hi there, it's Carrie from the future. I just finished making my blog post, so I want to take this opportunity to talk about Squarespace, who sponsored this video. Thank you so much. Squarespace is a great place to host your online presence, whether it's just a personal kind of blog sort of website, if you want to open up a shop or anything. I have been using them since 2018, I think. They have so many free layouts to choose from. You can really customize your website really easily because I don't know how to do anything the fact that i can do it is proof that anyone can do it there are really cool features um, as far as a comment section you can get a ton of analytics which is really fun to see what people are searching for what people are looking at and it also works really well as far as if you are trying to sell any products or anything um, it's a really cool product and so you can start your free trial if you go to squarespace.com you can play around with layouts and then once you feel like you are ready to launch you can go to squarespace.com slash carry cakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain. And so I will link carrycakes.net down below. You can check out mine. Um, and yeah, thank you so much to Squarespace for being the place where I host all of my content um, and also for sponsoring this video. So, okay, back to the vlog. Sort of like 
like when I took you to Mangwon and I explained that these are all like individual run little stores and people tend to maybe not keep to their open hours? Um, here's an example. Um, so I arrived here when they're supposed to open and they're not totally fine. Um, we can just come back, but just in case you have like a tight schedule or something, very, very common for places here to open like an hour late or something like that. So just be aware. Um, I'm gonna walk around a little bit and then we're gonna head to this one place called Pyeonghwa, which looks beautiful and I'm so excited. So. This is a really cool spot if you like beer. I'm not much of a drinker. This place is gorgeous. They light it up like it's so pretty at night. Um, but yeah, it's mostly like a beer drinking place with bigger, here you go. So not super duper my style uh, as far as food goes, but it's just like a really cool place. It's like a huge hall in there. So if you're like, Thirsting for some kind of beer hall or something, I guess. Old Mule. <laughs> In there um but then we're going to actually meet up with Medi. we both had like plans get canceled so we're gonna he's gonna help me eat pastries <laughs> so but let's look in here place that we were gonna go is open. Let's go in.
weird thinking about it. Also, we're kind of below Gimpo. So if you hear airplanes, that's why. Um, this is really how a lot of Sungsu felt like a couple years ago. It's just very interesting. I really wonder how Mule is gonna handle this. They seem to really want to promote this kind of synergy or like codependency of these shops and these restaurants with the factories, but I don't I don't know how that's actually gonna work. So the last place we're heading to before we meet up with Medi is this brand new coffee shop called Front Pont Pont? I don't know, but I'm making weird eye contact with the barista, so let's go in. <laughs> we've already been to before in a vlog a while ago. Please don't let me get hit by it. <laughs> okay, um, this is probably one of the most famous bakeries slash cafes in this neighborhood. Um, it's beautiful, it's multiple stories, it's got a beautiful rooftop. The drinks and food is yum. I mean, what more, what more could you want? So um, I'm gonna head there, Maddie's gonna meet me there, and we're gonna eat, okay? to head home I cannot take you to another cafe but I hope that this gave you like a little intro into Mule this is just a really cool area to walk around um, lots of restaurants lots of cafes lots of bakeries lots of just I don't know it's a really cool mix of things here um, so highly recommend coming to Mule and yeah bring an empty stomach so once again all of these places are gonna be linked uh, in my blog post so thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this when you're ready to launch your own website, you can go to squarespace.com slash carry cakes. Why does this always happen? 
you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain. Um, thank you so much for that. Details will be in the, the description box. And I've got to get home. Um, but my bus is actually here. So I will see you guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.